Welcome to this Monday Thursday edition of this uh, the MCF devotions for Easter. Monday Thursday is a very uh, important day in the in the story of uh, Jesus' crucifixion, uh, and there are many uh, different facets to it. But I just want to concentrate on on one, which is where Peter disowns Jesus. I'm reading from the uh, New Living Translation. Um, and it's Luke chapter 22, starting at verse 54, where it says, Then seizing Jesus, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance. And when some there had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat down with them. A servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him. But he denied it. Woman, I don't know him, he said. A little while later, someone else saw him and said, You are also one of them. Man, I am not, Jesus, uh, Peter, Peter replied. About an hour later, another asserted, Certainly this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. Peter replied, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Just as he was speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word, that the Lord had spoken to him. Before the cock crows today, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Now I want to go back and, and just concentrate on that verse 61, where it says the Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord had spoken to him. Before the cock crows today, you will disown me three times. Now, Jesus would have remembered the promises that his disciples uh, gave him before this this happened, where they said that they would follow him no matter what. They would follow him even unto death. He was had that pain of rejection of his disciples who'd all run away, deserted him. There was only Peter who had stayed at a small distance away from him and then the Lord looked at him after Peter had denied him so what do you think were his uh, what sort of look do you think that Jesus gave him do you think it was a look of disgust or do you think he was sorrowful do you think he was angry do you think it was shock do you think Maybe it was compassion and understanding that Peter couldn't face the things that Jesus was facing. He was truly facing that pain of rejection. And because Jesus was both human and he was also God while he walked on earth, he suffered the same uh, difficulties, the same pains, the same feelings that we all experience if he hadn't experienced those, we he wouldn't be able to understand how we feel. He'd also already suffered that pain of rejection in the garden when his disciples fell asleep. And so he would have felt re- totally rejected. So we all have suffered re- rejection in our lives at various times. What sort of look have we given people? Have we looked at people with disgust? Have we looked at people with sorrow? Have we looked have we looked with a look of anger? Have we been shocked when we've been rejected? Have we looked at people with compassion and understanding? But we follow a God who is forgiving. We follow a God who wants to reconcile with us. And after the resurrection, Jesus appeared three times to his disciples. Peter ran to the tomb and twice Jesus saw him in the upper room. There was no reconciliation between them. We don't read of any reconciliation. And I would contend 
that Peter was still filled with remorse. We read, don't we, that, G that Peter uh, was, went out and wept. He still felt that, that isolation from Jesus. And sometimes God allows us to go through that furnace experience where we feel that we are being tested in the things that we've been doing. But we know that maybe a few days afterwards, Peter returned to his, his, uh, his fishing. And when Jesus was there on the beach, cooking the fish, cooking the breakfast for him, Peter jumped out of the boat, ran to him and was reconciled to Jesus. The Spirit had prompted him to do that. And then Jesus recommissioned Peter by asking him three times, do you love me? And each time Jesus gave Peter a deeper and more full commission as to what to do. He asked him and told him that feed my lambs, take care of my sheep, feed my sheep. They were reconciled. He was recommissioned. So what should we do if we are rejected? We should still look in love at those people. Sometimes there's a need for a distance between us before we seek reconciliation. But just like Jesus, sometimes it's good to then suggest that we maybe meet for coffee or, or even a meal. If that's refused, then we need to forgive and to move on. Because if we do not forgive, then we carry an, a load with us. So let's just pray. Father, we just thank you that you are a good and forgiving God. We just thank you that you want to reconcile with us. We just thank you that even in the midst of the pain of rejection, we can lean on your shoulder. We just worship you and praise you that we can receive that healing from you. We pray and ask you these things in your name. Amen. <laughs>